Hello and welcome to your English language class. Today in this class we will be reading a very interesting poem titled Someone written by Walter de la Mare. Now talking about the poet, Walter de la Mare was born on 25th of April 1873. He was an English poet, short story writer and novelist. And he is best remembered for his works for children for his poem The Listeners. Now let us read the poem first and then I will just give you an overview of this poem. Someone came knocking at my wee small door. Someone came knocking. I am sure, sure, sure. I listened. I opened. I looked to left and right. But not there was a stirring in the still dark night. Only the busy beetle tap tapping in the wall. Only from the forest the screech owl's call. Only the cricket whistling while the dew drops fall. So I know not who came knocking at all, at all, at all. So basically in this poem the poet tells about a mysterious visitor to a small house in the middle of the night. And when the speaker hears someone knocking at his door, he goes to see who is there. But there is no one. There is only the sounds and visions of the night. Okay. So, let us read the first stanza. See, basically, um, in the first stanza, the um, poet tells that there is a very... Um, dramatic action that took place um, the speaker or the poet is all alone in the house and suddenly he hears someone knocking at the door and when he just goes down to check who's there at the door he finds no one there so someone came knocking at my v small door v means um, little or very small so someone came knocking at my small door and someone came knocking, I'm sure, sure, sure. So basically this short poem begins with a dramatic action, a knocking on the speaker's door. And it was the middle of the night. So the speaker was surprised by the sound at his small door. Someone came knocking at my wee small door. Someone came knocking, I'm sure, sure, sure. So the speaker or the poet here we can see a girl standing at the doorstep right so maybe the speaker is a little girl and she is all alone in the home and suddenly she hears someone knocking at the door in the middle of the night so she gets really scared and she you know, just comes at the door and she just opens the door and to find that there is no one okay so she probably got scared because nobody was there and she must be thinking who was there and she is quite certain that there was someone at the door and she heard somebody knocking so she was quite sure of the that thing and that's why um, the, sh the word sure has been highlighted and it has been repeated I listened I opened I looked to left and right so the speaker here listened very carefully and then he opened and he looked to left and right. He checked um, in front, in the left side and in the right side of the door but not there was a stirring. Stirring means activity. So there was not a single activity in the still dark night. It was middle of the night and it was quite dark outside and there was not a single activity outside. Okay, so um, it was kind of very strange and the speaker here is really confused that who was there at the door and who knocked at the door because there was nobody at the door right now and um, nothing is moving, nothing, no activity, no sign of activity uh, can be seen at the doorstep. Only the busy beetle tap tapping in the wall. Only from the forest the screech owls call. 
so all that the speaker could find after opening the door was um, he could just listen to the beetle okay beetle is an insect mostly found in the homes or near near our homes so it's an insect basically so it was just tap tapping on the wall it was just making some kind of sound okay and when it is uh, dead silent outside you can just hear even dropping of a needle right agar ek choti si sui bhi giregi to bhi uski awaaz ekdam echo karegi because it is all very um, silent and not a single voice to be heard in the middle of the night only from the forest the screech owls call so the speaker could also hear the sound of the owl from the or uh, from the forest okay it was that um, silent in the night that maybe jo kafi dur tha forest wahan se jo owl ki awaaz hai wo bhi usko saaf saaf sunai de rahi thi right only the cricket whistling while the dew drops fall and he could also um, listen to the cricket whistling cricket is also a uh, kind of insect which makes chirping noises okay jisko hum log hindi mein jhingur bhi kehte hain jo gharon mein usually paya jata hai to uski jo cricket ki ek sound hai ek whistling ki sound hai that is also heard in the middle of the night while the dew drops fall okay jo os ki boonde hain wo gir rahi hain aur क्रिकेट की आवाज़ सुनाई दे रही है उस इंसेक्ट की आवाज़ बहुत ही क्लियरली सुनाई दे रही है सो आई नो नॉट हु केम नॉकिंग एट ऑल एट ऑल एट ऑल सो द स्पीकर हेयर इज नॉट श्योर हु वॉज देयर हु केम नॉकिंग एट द डोर इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट एंड इज जस्ट वैनिश्ड फ्रॉम द सीन ओके सो इट वॉज द मिस्ट्री रिमेन्स अनसॉल्व राइट इवन एट द एंड ऑफ द पोएम that who was there at the door which is why the poem has been titled someone okay now the speaker is not sure who was there at the door it was kind of a mystery it was kind of a mysterious man or a woman we are not sure who was there so that's why the poet has titled this poem someone okay because the identity of the visitor never gets disclosed आप पूरी पोएम हमने पढ़ ली है लेकिन हमें ये नहीं पता चला हु वॉज देयर एट द डोर हु वॉज नॉकिंग द डोर सो इट वॉज काइंड ऑफ अ मिस्टीरियस विजिटर हु जस्ट विजिटेड हु जस्ट नॉकड एट द डोर इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट एंड जस्ट पेरिश्ड और जस्ट वैनिश्ड राइट सो द स्पीकर हैज नो आइडिया एट ऑल दैट हु इट वॉज एट द डोर दैट्स वाई द वर्ड्स एट ऑल एट ऑल एट ऑल has been highlighted or um, repeated right so this is a very short poem and it's very uh, quite simple right aap ek bar padhoge to aapko samajh mein aa jayegi bahut hi easy aur bahut hi short simple and short poem not very complicated not many difficult words are also used in the poem so okay i hope you've understood this poem well just write this poem neatly in your notebook along with the word meanings okay and we'll be taking up the question answers and the book exercise in the next class so uh, just submit your homework by 3 o'clock tomorrow and thank you for watching this video